take out the crank set from the package. Remove the crank arms and you should have only the bottom bracket part left alone. The side with the wire is the non-drive side. We first remove the cup cap, then pull out the spindle from the drive side and disassemble the left and right bottom bracket cups. Take out the motor from the package, add the correct spaces if needed, and have the non-drive side bottom bracket cup pierce through the opening on the left side of the motor body. Tighten the left bottom bracket cup to the bike using your press fit bottom bracket tools. On the drive side, install the right bottom bracket cup and tighten it with a bottom bracket tool. At this point, you should add the hanger or the strap to better secure the motor. Now, put on the motor chain and assemble the front cover plate. With the left and right bottom bracket cups assembled, we now plug the spindle into the bottom bracket. Don't forget to tighten the cup cap back onto the left bottom bracket cup. Hook the bike chain around the spindle as shown and place the motor chain on the freewheel. Note that the bike chain is on the inside and the motor chain is on the outside. This is for easier installation later. Take out the chain ring and hook it to the motor chain first. Pull down the tensioner if you require more space. Next, hook on your bike chain with the chain ring and have the chain ring assembled to the freewheel through the 5 screw holes at the front.